Hello YouTube, this is Bash bringing you here for the fourth battle of the MPL tryouts. We are up against Ultra Player, who is also 2-0. Um, actually, it's at the time of me recording, I have not actually had my bat third battle, so that's why I've only kept it as 2-0 right now. Um, this is uh, His team consists of Lando, T, Infernape, Scizor, Mega Altaria, Jolteon, Miltank, Mesprit, Garboarder, um, Vaporeon, Sceptile, and Spiritomb. His team is pretty wild. Like, okay, so his team can be kind of annoying. Um, with like the priority options that he has is pretty decent. Um, with like both Scizor and Infernape and Spiritomb, um, he's a lot of good momentum. Um, and he's a pretty good hazards setters. And he has um, he's all uh, well, I would say all right with hazard removals. Like his really hazard moves are Lando T and Scizor and Mega Terry, which all want to do different things other than hazard removal. So that's interesting to th uh, think about. Um, my team, uh, his Z captains are Lando T and Spear Tomb. Uh, Spear Tomb obviously for the Z Memento. Um, there's also, and then my team consists of Victini, Suicune, Pomo, Sweet Sylveon, Nido, uh, Nido King, Raikou, Mega Aerodactyl, Razor Steel, Sneasel, and Lorantis. Z captains being uh, Como, Sneasel, and Lorantis. So, going to the, uh, there's a lot of really, what's really scary about his team is his setup uh, threats opportunity as well as some like some of his breakers are really good as well but i'm really his he has a lot of good setup on his team which is very scary and he has things like really decent walls as well with like mill tank and vaporeon and mesper that could be really nice so like it's kind of scary in way of what to do against his team because i got to be fearing of the setup as well um so at least in for any, it's not one of his users so that's nice but still it's very scary with the team he has, so let's go into the team. Um, before I before I go into the team though, there's a couple things I would like to point out. Um, there's I feel like Como could do well as long as it's able to beat the Mega Altaria before it, hit, it fires off a move. Um, uh, Sneasel just doesn't look that good uh, with the fact that it has uh, with Infernape and Scissor just sitting there. Which is kind of annoying because other than that, Sneasel looks really good against his team. So, like, that's annoying. Um, there's things like Registeel that um, can wall pretty much his entire team except for two Mons, which are two, <laughs> it's two great, two first Mons on his team, Lando T and Fernie, which is very scary. Um, there's also. Uh, Needle King doesn't look that bad as long as it has the right coverage, but it gets threatened out by a lot by Lando T. But as it's really good if I bring it in on a slower mod and stuff, like you can break pretty easily. Uh, Suicune defensively has a pretty good matchup as well. Uh, and Sylveon, um, I just gotta stay away from that Scizor. And I've also got to make sure that I bring hazard removal this week. I do not want to deal with um, T spikes. Uh, I mean, I don't want not want to deal with spikes from Garbodor, as I kind of expect that to kind of come. Um, things I expect to come, I expect the Infernape to definitely come, uh, as well as the um, Mega Altaria. I think is very likely to come. Probably uh, Spear Tomb as well. Well, I could see Spirit Tomb is coming as well, which could be really annoying as well. Um, probably the Jolteon is pretty likely. Uh, and the Lando T. So uh, that would be like Lando T, Infernape, Jolteon, uh, Spirit Tomb, and Mesprit, and Mega Altaria. That's six right there. Um, don't, I'm not entirely sure. He might bring Miltank as well to help with Victini. Um, and Garbodor, oh, I said Garbodor before, so he might not bring one of the mess prayer or spirit to him. He might bring Garbodor instead for the hazard set, uh, hazard stacking, even though Garbodor doesn't have the best matchup. Um, and Vaporeon, I don't, I'm not really sure if Vaporeon will come. Like, it can be really annoying for my team, but I feel like I have, I feel like it doesn't, is able, to, isn't able to beat some of my mods, um, at all. And Scizor, I could see coming, but like, it, it kind of gets walled by Suicune. And Registeel as well, as well. Um, it's able. Uh, Victini is able to destroy its life. I really only see it for like the Sneasel, maybe in the Sylveon, which is. Uh, 
so and make a Aerodactyl. So let's get into the team I'm bringing. Ooh, that's, that doesn't look good. Okay, there we go. Meg, uh, sorry about that. First week off, we got Mega Aerodactyl here. Um, pretty much uh, offensive with Adamant, Earthquake, Ice Fang, Stone Edge, and Defog. I decided against Roost, um, particularly because I found myself in these other matches that I haven't been really clicking Roost with it. So, I mean, I don't really think it's really worth it if I'm going to bring him on like this and not click Roost. Um, and I don't think it's really there to check anything. I think it's really just to, there to, uh, well, not defense, I meant defensively check. It's really there to just put holes in his team. Um, that's really the point of this spawn. Um, it's going to come in and revenge a bunch of stuff. Uh, and I felt like uh, I was going to bring it just Earthquake and Ice Fang and then Roost and set it in Defog. But I felt like Stone is really nice to hit things like um, Scizor uh, coming in. The the tch -tch -tch Mel Tank, the Nesprit, the Vaporeon, and like the Spirit Tomb to hit it really hard with Stone Edge. As we all know, Stone Edge is really is such a really good uh, move just to spam. So that's uh, why I have that on Mega Aerodactyl. Um, yeah, this thing is basically I believe outspeeding uh, Max Speed Jolteon here. Um, didn't want to. I uh, did. I put the extra four in defense because I did not want to have even HP and number because it is weak to rocks. I have defog just in case of T spikes and stuff too. Because Mega Aerodactyl was able to deal with um, Garbodor, I think, pretty well. So next we have Suicune here. Suicune is pretty much a rest sleep tech war scald set. It's able to deal with Lando T and Infernape, Scizor, Mega Altaria, um, Metal Tank if it's a curse set. Uh, it's able to deal with a lot of his mods, uh, a lot of his uh, set of mods. So I really think it was uh, wise to bring this mod for this match. I I really think that uh, River Suicune is really important for this match in order to uh, be able to phase out a lot of his set of opportunities. So I got to be able to keep this thing nice and healthy throughout the match. Um, next we have Real Steel. Wait, this is not supposed to be this set. This was supposed to be. Yeah. Okay, this is supposed to be Toxic Stealth Rocks, Protect Seismic Toss. At first, I did have Flash Cannon. That's why I said it before. But I turned turned it to Stealth Rocks because I believe Seismic Toss is able to deal with Mega Alteria anyway pretty well with Toxic. Um, and I wanted Rocks, which is nice for uh, wearing down his team. Um, and Toxic plus Seismic Toss is able to beat Mega Alteria, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not really that worried about it. So. Um, next, we have. Kingpin here, the Nido King, very uh Spadef assault vest set. Um, it's able to deal with a lot of his special threats. Um, it can handle Sceptile. It can handle like things like if it's a uh, special Infernape, it can handle that. It can handle um, special Mega Altaria. It can handle Jolteon very well. Um, yeah, and I mean it, it can ha handle Spirit Tomb as well, and it hits really hard against his team. Um, nothing really. If I click the right move, nothing wants to switch in on this. Um, even like, uh, even Meltank is not going to have the best time switching into this. So I, I feel pretty confident about this. I'm on uh, Kingpin. I feel like it could work, work really well. And I love the Assault Vest to allow it to me to help check against Jolteon. So next we're going to go into the Saber. I'm going to skip over Como for a second um, and show you why in a minute. But I got Volt with Thunderbolt, HP Ice, Shadow Ball. Hits his team really well. Um, there isn't uh, there isn't much to switch into this. Uh, I would probably say um, not. Yeah, I'd probably say I don't think Mega Terrier depends on Mega Terrier. Say he might get two shot by HP Ice. Um, Infernape gets probably dest or gets destroyed by Thunderbolt. Scizor gets hit really hard by Thunderbolt. I really like the leftovers also, so it allows me to switch into uh, this on Vaporeon a lot more because I feel like if Vaporeon comes, it could be annoying to try to wall out Riverdale the Suicune. So I could have this here to help uh, help with that. Um, and I feel like it could be nice to switch into like Vesperate and stuff like. Uh, and other uh, other things uh, as well as Jolteon. So I I kind of like the leftovers for more recovery purposes. Um, I just need to wear things down to allow this mon to sweep. 
which is my Terminator with a bulk up set. Substitute, bulk up, drain punch, ice punch. It's able to deal with the, his, the opposing team very well. Um, if I get up a sub and start bulking up, I don't, I don't know if I don't know how he's gonna beat me. Um, other than make maybe uh, I just need to make sure Mega Altaria is weakened down enough to be able to beat that thing. And I think Mesprit. That's about it on uh, this team that could really beat this. Uh, that could. Uh, I don't think Spear Team even could beat this thing, um, unless it's Elf Infiltrator uh, Will O Wisp. That's the only possibility that he could beat me with Spear Tomb um, with this set. Uh, pretty much everything else get destroyed by this set, and I didn't really think I needed the speed boost because the only things faster than uh, Como are um, Lando T, Metal Tank, Infernape, Sceptile, Jolteon, Infernape, and Lando T, and Metal Tank are, are easily dealt if I get the defense boosts, defense boosts, and Jolteon's not gonna do much other than me unless HP Ice life like choice specs, and either then I just get a Dream Punch, uh, get all the recovery right back. Um, as well as Subtile, can't really do much to me either, so I can get the Drain Punch or the Ice Punch and, it, and to get that health back from the Drain Punch. So I feel really confident about that. Ooh, that should not be there. Okay. So I feel like Terminator is a huge part of this game. It's a huge win, win con for this match. I don't know if he's going to be really expecting it because um, I also like the fact that it's able to do with the, the priority really well because he has three forms of priority um, in Fernape. Um, Scizor and Spirit Tomb, which are really good priority options as well. So hopefully we're able to deal with that. Um, I feel like um, this this thing could sub up on like things like um, Scizor. It could probably uh, it could sub up on Vaporeon, which is really nice. I really like that option because if he doesn't have Roar, uh, Komo could set up on this uh, Vaporeon for pretty much for days. Like uh, unless well he get, might have Ice Beam as well, but. I feel like that um, Como is able to set up on that, and I get get a lot of HP back from uh, Drain Punch since we point has a lot a high HP stat. Um, Bell Tank does not want to deal with this thing. Uh, <laughs> the things that I need to weaken down, as I said before, Mesh Prince, Mega Altaria, which I have uh, Stealth Rocks from uh, Stealth Rocks from Mega Altaria as well as this set uh, with Toxic. I have this the pressure from Mega Altaria. Uh, Mesprit is pressured. Uh, Mesprit, I could just Toxic and weaken it down. I could just uh like with toxic with Registeel, I could uh try to like um it doesn't get Mesper doesn't get reliable recovery, which is the best part about this. And I could uh, switch into Raikou on that and click Shadow Ball and stuff like that and both switch around, which I really enjoy with it, my team. Um I'm I think the if I weaken those things down, I keep um and he doesn't have phasing options like uh Roar or Whirlwind or stuff like that. I feel like Como has this game in the bag, and I'm gonna. Um, I'm really hoping that this works out like that. So we will be playing Ultra Player, um, Josh, uh, and you should definitely check out his channel. He's a pretty good channel, uh, honestly too. And thank you for watching this video. Uh, the game should be up the next day. So until then, bash out.